the opportunity of having researched and written my book, Leonardo da Vinci Rediscovered, Yale University Press, it's a book in four volumes um, that has just come out in 2019 in the summer, has given me the opportunity to reflect more about Leonardo, the teacher, and his pupils. And so in the conference for the Academia Nazionale dei Lincei, I was particularly interested in trying to take a longer perspective and try to think more widely about the questions uh, regarding Leonardo as a teacher, particularly in the education of young artists. So for me, the most important thing was to try to create a thread of practice and see the continuities of practice from the Verrocchio Bottega, where Leonardo was first the, uh, an assistant, an apprentice, and then becomes a collaborator, what the, he learns there at the Verrocchio Bottega and the methods of teaching to young artists and how these Leonardo imports at, uh, when he becomes a professional painter active in uh, Milan in the 1490s. And one of the things that was really interesting to me was the extent to which he uh, goes back to certain practices taught in Verrocchio's studio, like the study of draperies, like the study of models. And then Leonardo expects that his Milanese pupils, say Giovanni Antonio Boltrafio, Marco Dogiono especially, or the Maestro della Pala Sforzesca, Leonardo expects them to use the same medium. It's a very difficult medium of metal point on blue prepared paper with white gouache highlights. It's very intensive in effort and so for Leonardo, this is the way that he can teach his pupils about the diligenza of execution. So the very carefully crafted drawing surface uh, that teaches discipline to the artist. And so this we see in a very, very consistent way in the drawings by these first generation of Milanese pupils of the 1490s. And it's very interesting because they focus on subject matter that Leonardo is also investigating in his notes for the uh, treatise on painting, the Libro di Pittura. So there is this congruence of having actual pupils whom he is teaching the art of drawing. Drawing, disegno, is really the foundation of the arts, as Leonardo himself says and the writing in this theoretical way about the education of artists. And so for me, the other interesting thing was to think about Leonardo from the, Leonardo the teacher from the point of view of practice and Leonardo the teacher from the point of view of theory. And what one finds is that there is a conflict that he could not really reconcile entirely. This idea of expecting such diligence from his students that also dry up imagination, the freshness of ideas. And so Leonardo himself also believes that it is a very important way of drawing for composing a, a storia. And he prizes especially the freshness, the spontaneity, and he says, il bozzare pronto che no, non sia tutto finito. And so it is very interesting how this idea of spontaneity, of bozzare pronto, how much in conflict this is with what he was teaching in a practical sense to his pupils with these carefully done metal point drawings on blue prepared paper. They must have spent hours, the pupils, drawing in this technique. And as you can imagine, this really does dry up the imagination. And it is interesting because you see that, for instance, um, there are almost no drawings of a very quickly sketched composition. So drawing sketches for the storia that are by the Milanese uh, 
artists of the first generation of Leonardo. And so we almost see 15 years later, we start seeing the first drawings by Lombard artists, by Leonardeschi, using these techniques of the Bozzare Pronto. So it is very interesting to see that during all this time in Florence, for example, Leonardo himself, since the 1470s, and then the artists like Raphael, like Perugino, all are doing the Bozzare Pronto, these sketches for compositions. And it seems almost like 30 years later, uh, the Milanese artists are beginning to feel finally free enough to do uh, these quick sketches. Now, Boltrafio, who was a great, uh, a great painter um, and very talented artist among Leonardo's first generation of pupils, does produce all these beautiful drawings of heads, of draperies in the technique, this very time-consuming technique of metal point on blue prepared paper. But then Boltrafio leaves Leonardo in around 1500, he goes to Bologna, and you almost see that there is a revolution in his style. He starts drawing with colored chalks and he uses pastels. And so he kind of breaks free from Leonardo's somewhat tyrannical method of, of teaching and of drawing um, at this earlier time.